Welcome back to the seventh day of Halloween special. This whole month of October, I'm reacting to creepy, scary type of Halloween videos. So for the first video of today, we are reacting to five scariest places you should never visit. And let's get right into it and Lego. The world is full of many beautiful places, which I strongly suggest you must include on your to-do list. True. True, true. Ours is a world full of contradictions and every action has an equal reaction to it. Makes sense. There are also yeah. several places that I would strongly advise you never visit. Really? And when I say never, I mean never. Never. Some locations never visit these guys. Just never visit. Off limits or completely forgotten. So with this being said, prepare. Because here are five scariest places you should never visit. I'm scared already, right? man. I'm scared. Well, let's begin. Let's get into this. Number five. Gunkinjima Island. Gunkinjima Island. Island is an That's island a sick in name. Japan that has been uninhabited for over 50 years. Damn. It is surrounded by walls all around it, and the buildings are built so close to each other that it is extremely difficult to even see the sky. Damn. It is claimed that over 6,000 people lived I'd go on this just island to take in the photos. 50s when coal was being produced. After the coal I really was exhausted, want to go there just to take people photos. left the island, That's and sick. it became a complete ghost town, as you can That's see. That's awesome. And today, because of the form it has, people kind of resemble this island as a battleship. What do True. you think? Kind of. Number four, Island it's of like the Dolls. It's like a fort or something, like the an army island fort. Of the Dolls got its unique and what scary the hell? name because of the many dolls that are hung up on trees across the island. What is this? And all this was done by one man known as Don Julian. Well, Don Julian, man, you're a creepy motherfucker. Play. Apparently, Don was the only man who lived on the island, and he lived all by himself. Oh, uh, so he got lonely, and he hung up dolls on trees for them to talk to him. I guess that's where it's headed. One legend has it that he discovered the remains of a girl who had drowned on the island, and later discovered a doll that belonged to her. He then hung that one doll on a tree and decided to start collecting more dolls to hang no, them on more trees. that's just hella weird. Like, that's His creepy reason for this? as hell, like... There's like these heads are on stakes. There's <laughs> dolls hung up from like a clothesline, and there's dolls hanging from trees. Man, this guy, this guy could turn into some serial killer or something. He's practicing with dolls first. His reason for this? No one actually knows. Unfortunately, he died in 2001, and many believe he committed suicide after going insane. Damn. Number three, abandoned city of Pripyat, Ukraine. Pripyat, I've the heard city of this, Pripyat is located just about three kilometers away from the reactor in Chernobyl. Okay. After the catastrophe occurred, all the 50,000 inhabitants of the city left, and the city became a ghost town. Today, the streets of the town remain deserted, with schools bearing shells of the life that, that still was. Still looks sick. Trees are now growing through window panes, and the paint peels from the walls I on a daily go there, basis. Man. I really want to go Nature to some abandoned buildings to take photos. Town, and its effects can be seen on the dilapidated streets that were once a beehive of activities. It is stated that in a hundred years, Yo, the city what? will never be That's fit sick. for human habitation. Number two. Izu Islands, Japan. Izu the Islands. Izu Islands of Japan are mainly volcanic islands that form part it looks of Tokyo so empty. in the form of two towns and six other villages. The islands of Izu are so volatile to the extent that they produce a stench that smells like sulfur. Locals compare the sulfur. smell to the smell of thousands of farts. Ew. The residents of the islands were evacuated in 1953 and then also in 2000 because the volcanic activity in the area was dangerous. Whoa, those masks! The level masks, of gas though, was bro. also proving to be highly dangerous to people's health. However, in 2005, <laughs> well, back, yeah, that's actually so walk. creepy, man. Oh my god! Yo, imagine waking up, looking out your window, and seeing this in your front yard. Man, you cheat your pants. I know, I know I would, so... They now walk around in gas masks in case the gas level rise to dangerous levels. Oh Number my one, gosh. Chernobyl. They, the oh, wait, wait, wait. So there's actually people still inhabiting... There's actually still people on that island? There's, there's still people there, and they're wearing those masks. Holy shit. Just imagine, like... Like, just imagine you're going to visit someone there, or, like, how does that work? Like, how do they have friends from, like, how do they have people that they know that don't live there come in, like, oh, you have to wear this mask now or something. Like, that'd be super weird, like, if you're, like, a new guest or something to that, like, to that place. The Chernobyl disaster is one that everyone who witnessed it wants to forget about. Mm -hmm. The disaster occurred at a place called Chernobyl, Ukraine. Chernobyl. The operators of the plant were conducting an experiment to determine whether the turbines were capable of producing power to keep the plant running until the backup was activated. Okay. In the process, all the control actions they had initiated failed to work as planned, and the result was a huge explosion that blew up the entire reactor which later melted the fuel rods. Oh, shit. The flames lasted over 10 days, and the radiation spread to the environment. 
Several lives were lost in the process, most as a result of the radiation that had taken a toll Wait. on people. So yeah, definitely off the ghost there. Damn, I'd actually want to go visit, man. Who wants to go to Chernobyl, man? Yo, yo, I'm talking to you guys. Yes, you guys. Who wants to go to Chernobyl? Let's go to Chernobyl and explore. Let's do it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to the video. Please drop a like and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And make sure to come back later today with another scary, creepy, horror type video. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.